So, that should have been your first giveaway right there. He's not <laughs> any videos. <laughs> that should have been like a dead giveaway for me. That's like, like, I'm on Desperate Housewives, but you just never see me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't have a channel before like I started getting on. Like I was like one, probably one of the last people in the dial-up age. I was still on dial-up. So like when people would send me YouTube links, I'm just like, I can't watch it. I'm on dial-up. <laughs> but like when I got high speed, I uploaded a video just like one of this old pieces of crap I used to do back in high school mm -hmm. and just it, no, nobody noticed, nobody cared. And, you know, and, um, uh, that was like June of, uh, 2000, what is it? Two years. So June of 2009 is when I, uh, I got, I don't know how I got linked to it. Like I, I've told this story so many times, but like, I don't know how I got linked to it, but I got linked to a video of somebody showing their DVD collection. Now I'm a movie guy and I'm looking at this video like that's stupid. You know, I'm just like, who's just going to sit there and show off their DVD? So I click it and I start watching. He's just showing his stuff. And I'm like, right on. I'm like, who would watch this? Then I saw the view count and it said 16,000 something. I was like, whoa, just for looking at DVDs? I have a pretty hefty collection. <laughs> so I just started doing that and everything and kind of just branched out every since. You know, um, that's kind of hard because like, uh, like I just mentioned, you know, I've, I've kind of run into some hater troll drama bs lately and mm -hmm. it's just uh like if i never like how can i put this um like when i first started to get into the dvd community and started getting you know quote unquote noticed uh where people were just like wow you're pretty cool and stuff you're pretty funny when it when you talk and like you remind me of chong you remind me of seth rogan like that doesn't bother me when people said it but mm -hmm. i was like wow people are starting to notice um i wanted to be like a big time person was like i don't know what i'd be doing in a year because uh, I've almost quit a few times this year because of the, the drama and BS and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, so th th I, that's one question I just can't answer because I just do not know. Because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I used to want to be big, but now I don't. Like, all my stuff has gone back to basics. Like, I just do top tens. I do my DVD updates. Uh, you know, I'm doing a contest right now. So if you're listening to this and the contest still going on, go over there and uh, submit. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, so... That's the, the, the short answer, like, after all that, the short answer to your question is just, like, I don't know. I mean, if, uh, you know, I, I would like to, I would like to, you know, just, if I got a thousand sub, I'd be happy. If nobody, if nobody ever subscribed after that again, I, I'd be overjoyed. Uh, well, <laughs> the way I go into videos, I go to record from, up, uh, record from webcam, uh -huh. and I talk, and I turn it off. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Like when it comes to like my DVD updates or my top tens, uh, you know, I'll just sit, I'll turn on the webcam and like, all right, today's top 10 is this right here. And I just talk and I keep track of the time or DVD updates. I'm just like, I just hit record. Because like everybody is like, I love editing. Everybody's like, I love editing. It's like writing a new draft. I'm probably the only person that hates editing. <laughs> You know, because, like, it just frustrates me so bad, man. I got to, like, candles and give myself a massage and stuff. And, it, 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 you know, like, it's just, it's a really drawn-out process for me. That's why I just really like just turning on the camera and going. So there's not really a process unless I'm really thinking that idea, hence the Hal Hannah thing or the lip singing videos. But there's not really a process when it comes to, like, I, I just show DVDs in front of a camera. Uh -huh. you know? Oh, man, how long is this show, man? We're going to be here a while. <laughs> what does it feel I like a lot of people. I mean, like, uh, I mean, just oh, like right off the back, who could you? Right off that, of course, you know, wet movie one. Like, it, like I've said to this day, if it wasn't for that dude, I probably still wouldn't be making videos, um, because like you know, there was a time like not because I was getting death threats or anything, because nobody was watching, and wet movie really just brought in people over. Uh, I guess recently, of course, uh, you know, uh, fishing out of Chris, I watch now. Um, I enjoy watching something about movies, aka Natasha. She's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, Oh, there's just so many people. I mean, I'm not just saying that so I can be like, oh, I don't want to name people. It's just there yeah, are it. so many people. I mean, of course, like big partner people. I like to watch Philip DeFranco, Will, Ray William Johnson. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, uh, Billboard Goddess, which she just does a video about the top 50 singles of the week. And I just enjoy watching that every week. I mean, there's just so many, many people. Yeah. yeah you I, know? I know people look at my subscriptions and they're just like, you're not subscribed to that many people. But trust me, those, those people I'm subscribed to, um, they take a lot of time to watch. Yeah, exactly. So just so many people. Like I said, if if you wanted me to give like the full answer, we'd be here a long time. Uh, oh, kind of like the the viral videos. Uh huh. Basically. Um. Oh man, I'm trying to think because like I'm not because like the only time I really keep up with the viral stuff is when I'm watching somebody like a Philip DeFranco or a Ray William Johnson. Uh -huh. uh, I guess probably one of my favorites because it annoys the the piss out of my friends is uh I don't know her name but like once I say the video you'll know it but it's the it's the and again, I'm not trying to be derogatory or anything. This is just how I know the video. But it's the large black woman sitting on the toilet. 
I just that. think that's so funny because like I showed it to my friends and they're just like, you're out of your mind. I'm like, this is hilarious. <laughs> you know, like I just love it because it just annoys my friends and stuff. I guess that would probably be one of my favorites. Well, here you go. Buckle your seatbelt, man. Cause it's, you're probably going to get the most obscure answer because uh, I know you drifted away from the YouTube, but like I've built a quote unquote, career i don't use the word career that often but like I, i've made a reputation i best I guess would be a better word unlike liking the obscure movies all right loved it and that was selena gomez and monte carlo and i say that because like it's weird because i even went into that movie knowing i was gonna hate it i was like i'm gonna hate this movie i'm going to watch selena gomez that's it that's the only reason i'm going but then it ended up being a really good movie and it was nothing really negative i could say about it except that it was it was too prince and the pauperish you know, uh, like yeah. Lee Gomez is in the movie. That was the only negative thing I had to say about it, but it was actually a pretty rocking movie, and people, you know, jump on my ass for it. But I'm just like, hey, I mean, I like the obscure, and that's what I like. And the and the other way I defend that movie is I'm just like, look at Rotten Tomatoes, Transformers three, thirty four percent, Monte Carlo, thirty six, suck it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so again, all that just to be like, yeah, Monte Carlo was uh, my probably favorite movie of the summer. Cause I know, so are you asking just from the 90s or just in general? Just in general, basically. What just movie do you feel should get um, remade? Oh, I don't know. There's just, there's so many. Because, that, like, that's the way I look at remakes. It's just like, uh, don't remake the stuff that we love. I mean, case in point, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I love the Nightmare on Elm Street series. But remaking that movie was just not the best idea. And yeah. I watched it twice to really get into it. And I, I did find some positive stuff in the Nightmare remake. But it was just so unnecessary. Friday the 13th was like one of the worst remakes I've ever watched. You know, so I think if you're going to, you know, that's my theory. Like you were saying, like, if it's a bad movie, that's the one that we should be remaking. You know, yeah, um, yeah. but as for like bad movies i don't know like uh, there's so many movies i would just give a second chance like let's make it better i mean you know scary movie one and two let's try and make those better okay you know uh, uh you know I, i'll probably you know much like my monte carlo answer i'll probably get flack for this one too let's remake shrek let's make that better <laughs> that was just horrible i just remake the terrible stuff like remake um I'm trying to think of just one answer. Like remake, remake Geely. People hated that. Let's re I liked it, but remake that because make it better. Like I'm not one of those guys that are just like, oh, Steven Spielberg made this movie. I must go watch it. You know, I'm not like, oh, St uh, Steven Soderbergh made this. I must go watch this. There's very few directors that like I can call out by name and be like, I'd go watch your stuff. So again, my answer is going to sound oddball, but because I enjoy his work, I enjoy listening to him speak. Uh, I guess it'd be a tie between Kevin Smith. And John Waters. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I won't go into detail about them, but I'll throw out a few titles for you, like A League of Their Own. Mm -hmm. You know, people when people, you know, see what I like, when they're just like, oh, you like Monte Carlo, you like... But, like, when they hear A League of Their Own is my favorite movie of all time, they're just like, oh, okay, so you do have some sense, after all. <laughs> uh, but, like, you know, A League of Their Own, a, a movie that not a lot of people have heard of, but it's called White Oleander, mm -hmm. with uh, Renee Zellweger, Michelle Pfeiffer, Alison Lohan, great film. Right. Um, but then also on my list, you know, one of my favorite movies, uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Oh, uh, that was just a phenomenal movie because like that was like 13 years in the making. I could we could sit here. I could drop knowledge on you about Freddy, Freddy versus Jason for like an hour. Uh, Dude, where's my car is another one. I can I know that I almost knew the commentary by heart, let alone the movie. You know, like that's how many times I've seen it. Um, and again, like another weird one on there, Sex in the City, the movie, just an awesome flick. And uh, so, yeah, those are just some of my favorites. Cool. Yeah. Huh? Favorite, uh, I, you know, probably one, I believe it or not, like, uh, coffee ice cream by itself. I'm just like, nah, whatever. But Ben and Jerry's coffee Heath Bar Crunch, it's like coffee ice cream with Heath Bars in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I could, I could, I can inhale that with a, with, with a butter knife if I try it. <laughs> and that makes no sense, but that's how good it is. You know, yeah. so I, I say that's my favorite because, like, whenever I, or cake batter ice cream. Cake one batter. The, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess Clooney, because he, get, he he gets the girls. George Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that'd be, like, the, the good answer for it. Uh, yeah, because if I say Tina Fey, that's just going to be weird. <laughs> that would okay. make love to myself all day. You know? Like, if I had my brain inside Tina Fey's body, that's what I would do. <laughs> you really amped up your interview show. I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody else has had that answer. Uh... Believe it or not, I actually have the answer. The answer popped in my head, but I don't think it's really going to count as a quote-unquote vehicle, but uh, a Bill and Ted's phone booth. Nice. You know, because I love the Bill and Ted movies, and, like, that'd be awesome just to hop into a phone booth and, like, I'm going to go see Sigmund Fruit. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, again, that's, like, a tie. Like, a tie, I'd, I, you know, like, one, I'd, I'd have to have, like, a nice pizza because I, I do enjoy a nice pizza. Okay. You know? 
And probably my second one is a little obscure. When I lived in Houston, we had a place called um, Hearts Chicken. And uh, what it was, it was like you know, a chicken joint, kind of like a second-rate KFC. But the, the difference was they had a buffet. You go in and you can get your fried chicken, chicken tenders, uh, and plus all your fixings and salad, and a little bit of dessert and everything. It was like eight bucks for the buffet. They'd have to take me there. So I'm basically like, bring you that food. Bring me that or like chain me up in the cuffs and the ankle weight and take me there one day. So, uh, yeah, that would probably be it. I'd be like, take me to a Hearts Chicken Buffet. Or just, if you, if you don't want to do that, bring me a nice pizza. Bring me a pepperoni and chicken pizza with a Diet Coke with lime. Because uh, I love Diet Coke with lime. Anybody who watches my channel knows I love some Diet Coke with lime. And uh, just, you know, fry me. So, everyone, I'll put a link to Artist's YouTube in the description box. Artist, again, thank you so much for being on here. Really appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. As always, guys, I am Romero Movie News. As always, I got your back, so you're on track. See you guys next time.